And here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my unboxing and first look at the DJI Pocket 2. Now this is the base model, it sells for $350, US launches officially today. Uh, this was not sent over for review, I purchased this, and that's because I am a huge fan of what DJI has done with their Osmo brand, even though they've dropped the Osmo name. You can see I have the original Osmo where they just integrated their gimbal technology from their drones into a handheld version. You could mount your smartphone. It had all sorts of audio problems. Uh, and then they came out with the Osmo Plus, which was an upgraded version of this big rig, if you will. Still an amazing product. Then they shrunk it down in 2018 and gave us this little guy, which is what you're about to see its successor, the Pocket 2, where they did drop the name. And this was a fantastic device. I used it quite a bit. Built-in battery, uh, micro SD card slot right there, the ability uh, through this terminal to connect different accessories, uh, through the Type-C port you could charge, and again, connect different accessories. But basically, you had to invest quite a bit in order to really use the Osmo Pocket to its full potential. And that's a lot of what's been addressed here in the Pocket 2. So let me go ahead and get this out of the box, and then I'll talk about uh, the key improvements. Now, you can opt for the Creator Bundle. That is $4.99. I don't recommend doing it, believe it or not. Even though it will give you uh, the best possible experience that you can have with this product, the things that it includes are both vital and also not. And I'll talk about that through the unboxing. And who knows, maybe through the course of my use, I'll end up telling you that I regret having not gone the way of uh, the other direction, which is the Creator Bundle. Now let's see if I can open this without destroying the packaging. Anyone who follows my channel knows that I'm, I'm always an expert unboxer, aren't I? And this is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I initially anticipated. I don't see any seals that should be preventing me, but of course there goes the packaging. And uh, I can't help but feel that they intentionally make it so that this occurs. Uh, so frustrated I am. I'm going from the other end and it looks like doing a better job at the top. So we'll stick with the top and hopefully I don't destroy too much. Now... The beauty of this, there we go, now it's opening up. The beauty of this, just like these two products, is again, stabilized video uh, as well as still image capture, but it's really all about the video. Here we got a larger sensor. I'm gonna skip the paperwork that comes in there. So we've got a larger sensor in the new version. Uh, we also have, beyond the larger sensor, in my opinion, a much more polished uh, product when it comes to the accessory problem that I was basically just mentioning because that was one of the big issues. For example, the original case, which looks very similar to the new case, couldn't accommodate a single thing. So if you bought all the accessories like I did, you had nowhere to put them. So that was a pretty big uh, cluster fuck if there ever was one. But here they've addressed some of that. So as the accessories pour out, we're going to have uh, connectors for all of your mainstream smartphones, a lanyard, and that's pretty much it. So we've got the included connectors to hook this up to your phone, just like with the previous generation. Uh, this, I believe, is something, again, that did not come in the original generation that should have, which is the ability to give the, uh, what is now called the pocket to, the ability to have a quarter 20 mount on the bottom, so you could actually stick it on a tripod or selfie stick. Believe it or not, that was an, an afterthought, and that is exactly what this is. So that's pretty much everything that you need to see. Charging cable right there. Um, you can also use it to connect it instead of using, you know, just uh, pulling out your micro SD card. But let's get all these guys out of the way. So whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device, you'll be fine. And then this guy basically now has compartments. So if you go with their creator bundle and you get the lav microphone system, it can actually, I believe it pops right onto there. So they just are more aware that they didn't have a case that could support everything. And inside of here, you can see that they have right there a spot for the wide angle lens. That's another thing that comes with the creator bundle. It's really all about the lav and the wide angle lens. Uh, they do also include their Wi-Fi module, because believe it or not, this still does not have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, just like Gen 1. So at the end of the day, if you're going to say to me, Ed, what are the key improvements with this? Larger sensor, wider field of view. We went from, I believe it was 80 
uh, I think it was 80 degrees to 90 degrees on this. Uh, so that's the first thing you need to know uh, is that we do have a wider field of view. I believe the lens went from 26 millimeters uh, with the original Osmo Pocket to 20 millimeters, and I think it went from an f2 to an f1.8. Uh, in addition to that, we now can take 64 megapixel stills with the new uh, Pocket 2, so higher res, and that is nice to have considering we have a wider angle and better field of view. So it's 93 versus 80 degrees to be exact, um, and as I said, 26 millimeters versus 20. In addition to that, we also have better autofocus, at least that's the claim. And in addition to better autofocus, see I'm not even seeing how this attaches, but I'm sure I will figure it out. I'm wondering if this needs to pop off. I don't even know how modular this thing is, so I'm not gonna play with this right now. I'll save that for my update. Uh, do need to pull this off, and we do need to remove this sticker. Uh, we also have HDR support. We have better slow-mo, first generation. Again, I keep calling it first, even though it's not really first gen gave us, I believe, four times. Now we're up to eight times slow motion capability. Uh, some general controls right here. They're letting you know that you have, uh, what does it say there? It's such tiny print, I almost have to take my glasses off. When using for the first time, follow the steps in the DJI Mimo app. And that's something you wanna know. You are going to have to connect this to your phone uh, with DJI's Mimo app for that very first launch up, register it, and then you're good to go. You'll never have to use it again if you don't want to. I don't like that, but it's a necessary evil with this. It's just part of uh, the way things work. And then you can see right here on the lens assembly, they have this red trim now. I'm not a fan because that just makes me think Canon all day long, and I'm not sure why they're doing it. They did it with their new Ronin uh, as well. I don't know what's going on at DJI that they think they've got to pander to Canon fans because they're making their own cameras, have your own identity. Uh, but either way, uh, startup time is also supposed to be greatly improved. Let's go ahead and see that right now. Uh, keep in mind, I have the wide angle lens, a uh, free well wide angle on here. So yeah, you could see the difference. Uh, this launched in about twice the speed as the original. Let's shut them down. Powering down seems to be taking longer. Not sure why. <laughs> Not powering down at all. Uh, I can tell you right now, out of the box, it's working well. The original Osmo often would have problems with its axis um, skewing a little bit, but this one doesn't seem to have that problem at all. Again, if this just popped on, I would pop it on, but I don't, this obviously detaches, so let's make it happen. I believe I can do it your micro SD card slot right there. Remember the battery is built in. So a lot of people will look at this as like a disposable camera because once that battery is dead, you know, you can send it in for service, but I don't know what they're gonna charge you. Um, so you just pop this on, which makes you wonder why they, why they even have this base to begin with, because now you've got your quarter 20 mount, you still have access to your USB uh, type C for charging and all that good stuff. Let's see if now I can turn it off because the power button doesn't seem to want to let me. But you know what, screw it, let's just, um, I'll hit English, and there it goes. Looks like it's it's working without having to go into MIMO. So maybe you don't have to go into MIMO. I mean, I haven't thrown a micro SD card in there, but it seems to be working fairly well based on what I can see. Let's see now, that's acting as gimbal lock. Okay, so um, now I'm in still images. I've got to go through here. You know the. You know, their, their competitors, like Fei Yu is one example. I did not um, review that, didn't get a chance to. Um, they did build in, build in Wi-Fi. They did build in Bluetooth. Uh, DJI still reserves that as a separate accessory. I wish that they didn't do that. Um, no differently than, uh, this is the power button now. That's why, okay. So that is the power button, new dedicated power button right there. And these are all good improvements. They're all solid, in my opinion. They're all going in the right direction. Uh, it, but it, it feels more like a cleanup uh, than a brand spanking new product. Other things you need to know, uh, I mentioned the lav mic. Now, I don't have it here, and that's part of the Pro Bundle. I haven't seen what they're gonna sell it for on its own. And I guess if you're gonna use this for everything, then it's good to have. But the other big improvement this has is better audio. So the microphone system is advanced compared to this gen. I believe that's a mic pinhole. That's a mic pinhole. 
Uh, that's a mic pinhole. So basically they realized, and this was because the audio was terrible at launch with the original Osmo uh, Pocket, that they needed to fix that. And they did. So that's good news. Uh, so I would actually, I'm hoping that the lav is not a necessity. But the reason I can't tell any of you, or I didn't myself purchase the Creator Bundle, is because that lav only works with this product. So it's nice and it's convenient that, you know, the bottom part pops on and then it, it syncs and works seamlessly. I can't actually tell you that for the extra money, you wouldn't be better suited to buy a Rode Wireless Go or a Comica system and just hook it up over Type-C. I know it, it creates more bulk, it defeats the purpose of this being the pocket, but at least when this thing dies or you decide it's no longer worth using, this is still going to be something you can use. And granted, these have internal batteries as well uh, as do the Rode Wireless Goes, but I just see it as a much more versatile tool as opposed to something that's proprietary just for this unit. Uh, so that's just something to be aware of. Uh, you know, eight times digital zoom with this, four times lossless, they're claiming. Uh, but to my knowledge, there's no actual optical zoom. So if they're trying to mimic Sony's clear image, I will update you that on that. Um, the story mode is another thing uh, that exists here. So essentially, you can you have templates. Uh, this existed with the original uh, Osmo Pocket as well. Uh, the eight times slow mo should be interesting. You know, I'm not expecting. Um, performance like the A7S that I just finished reviewing, but either way, that's still important. Uh, the mini control stick, now I thought that came with this, unless I'm losing my mind, and it did. Uh, I'm glad that I brought this up. So this is another thing, another reason to go with the base configuration, because this used to be a very expensive accessory. In other words, the only way that you could control the gimbal on this guy was if you bought this bundle right here which was over a hundred US dollars. And it gave you the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module, a holder, and the actual control for the gimbal system. And you can see I have those accessories here. And, you know, it's a bit of a mess. So basically, I actually think this is a much higher end piece of kit than this, even though I haven't tried it yet. But to have to buy all of this separately, uh, DJI realized that they were shooting themselves in the foot because this is stuff that people want out of the box. And this, of course, then presented the problem that you couldn't pocket it in the case. Of course, now with the new system, they realized we can make it work without any of that crap. So this, while it doesn't have the build quality or anything like that, is on there. Let's go ahead and power it back up. I'm used to the old style power. Um, and it's telling me to connect to a phone, so I'm not sure how I fooled it before, but it is working. Now, is the control better? I'm gonna have to spend some time with it, um, see what speeds are like. I think the old control is superior, but it should be, you paid for it. In terms of compatibility, let's throw it on and make sure the old control is compatible. I believe that it is. Come on, don't fail me now, little Osmo. Um, I believe it's still compatible, it should be. It's the same. Uh, pin system, so there's no reason, there we go, that it would not be. Let's see. I mean, I didn't do any research on this. That's part of what I'm going to find out from just using it. Oh, come on now. This should work. It's mounted properly. It doesn't appear to be working. So, if this can't work, that sucks. I mean, that was something I was really hoping for. But, you know, let me spend more time with it. Maybe it needs a firmware update. Um, it would make sense to make this compatible because this was, I mean, anyone who's upgrading would want this to be compatible. But there you have it. I mean, that already is a pretty important, a pretty relevant accessory because I don't know about you, but I don't want to have my phone connected to this thing walking around, even though it'll give me a bigger preview than the little tiny screen on board, uh, but this is definitely a better solution, but this solution comes included. So that's a big deal in my opinion. Uh, in addition to that, you know, the handle I mentioned before uh, that comes in the Pro bundle, it gives you basically this. It gives you the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. And I wish that was included. I, I, it's kind of shame on DJI that they're doing this. Um, this stuff should all be built into this new model. Even if they had to make it more expensive, People don't want to have to 
you know, buy all this extra crap in order to get full capability. And the little tripod they give you is cute, but also something that you could just buy on Amazon. Um, they also have, you know, a new case system. Uh, I mentioned the new case because I've got the original charging case over here, which was yet another accessory, which has a built-in battery. You charge it through there, it'll charge both the camera and its own internal battery. It gave you storage options um, for an ND filter, but, you know, two SD cards. And this was really cool. I mean, again, just showing their chops with making really cool products. And then I also have, of course, their selfie stick, that what they called their extension rod, which does give you control of the gimbal. It gives you record and still capability uh, controls. It extends. I mean, it is the selfie stick for the Osmo Pocket. Now, I'm assuming that this is going to be compatible with this because I didn't see them launch a new version of this guy. Uh, and this does have a, a quarter 20 mount. So instead of having to worry about little baby tripods, um, you could just use something like this and you know, you're in business. So this was really the primary way that I was using uh, the Osmo Pocket. It's no longer pocketable, but if you're traveling, it's great to have. And if you're shooting something in the studio, you want B-roll, whatever it may be, great solution. But You've just seen how many accessories I had to purchase. We're talking about hundreds of dollars for this first gen, and that's not even including this little guy, which was the best wide angle adapter that was ever made for it, which now they've included in their pro bundle. Uh, not pro, but their creator bundle. Let's see if it fits on this guy. And I say that because I don't know if they changed the actual size, and it looks like they have. So that means that if, like me, you have let me shut this off because it's, it's not cooperating like that. It means if, like me, you have an older one, if it even lets me try, it is not going to be compatible. And thankfully, I am wrong. It is compatible. So one of the things was that it is now aware when it has it on there. And so good news. It looks like the free well is working. Now, I will test this and we'll see what video quality actually looks like. Uh, but the premise is the same. So I can't, I'm going to say it again, I cannot, I keep forgetting the power buttons there, I cannot recommend going with the Pro Bundle because, again, it's not Pro, the Creator Bundle, because essentially what they're doing is they're just making all of these extra tchotchkes more affordable. You know, they're making it so you're getting this piece, but now it's a handle, not a base, and I'm not sure that that's even a better thing. Um, I don't really know that it is. Uh, they're making it so that you're getting a wireless lav, which I love the concept, but the fact remains that the wireless lav will only work with this no matter how good the performance is. It's a limiting thing uh, just by that nature, and I've already stated, I think you're better off investing in something like this or even the UHF knockoffs of this and the Rode Wireless Go, which retail for like 70 US dollars. Uh, they are giving you you know, things that really should come standard. And at the end of the day, I wish that we had a bigger sensor because even though this sensor got larger, we're really still working, even though I haven't shot anything with it, with basically a flagship smartphone sensor. And that's not a bad thing. That's better than this. But whether or not it's going to be a big enough difference outside of the fact that they made the field of view wider and the actual lens wider and a little bit faster and added HDR, the 64 megapixels is nonsense. I mean, this is a tiny sensor, so let's not get caught up in that. So that pretty much rounds it out. I mean, for me, I thought it was gonna be an instant buy and that I was gonna want it no matter what, but as I've stated, quickly I learned that I didn't feel this was going to be a big enough upgrade. Hopefully my experience with it will prove otherwise and I'll, my next update will be me telling you why if you own this, don't worry, you should upgrade to this, but it may read exactly as how I felt and why I didn't do a preview on this because I wasn't even sure I was going to pick it up, which is that I don't know that it's worth upgrading to. I mean, if you're a brand new purchaser, then obviously the $50 difference, this is on sale for $300, this is selling for $350 retail, you're not going to look at this. There's just no reason to acknowledge the older one. Now, if this were $200 and we had a $150 gap, then we have a real conversation. And that's why I will be comparing them because I do imagine that's where things are going to head. Uh, but I know I said this would, well, I didn't say it would be quick, but I know this was just an unboxing, but I've had a long, uh, 
you know, experience with DJI's Osmo lineup. They've dropped Osmo from the name, but you better believe this is still an Osmo product all the way. And the new carry case, I mean, it just is able to accommodate accessories like it should have from the very beginning. I don't consider that an upgrade. So at the end of the day, the real upgrades I've mentioned, bigger sensor, although it may be only slightly larger, uh, better audio performance, that's the other key. Uh, and on top of all of that, the ability to buy a bundle that gives you everything without having to buy, you know, five, four different accessories that end up being more expensive than the camera. And remember, we still have a built-in battery, so you could still look at these at eventually being disposable, unfortunately. Um, that's just the nature of it. I wish they would have given us a replaceable battery this generation. All food for thought. This is not your traditional unboxing because uh, I've been using Osmo products for a long time. And uh, it was, you know, for me, this was a tough buy. And uh, hopefully it's going to wow me and convince me that it is worth keeping in my pocket or gear bag. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.